Okay. All right. Bill Vickery, Jessica Deloach. Yes. Uh, didn't have a lot of time to get into the Senate race. Not quite as busy this week as it was last week with all the VA stuff. Right. But there's some ads going back and forth. Um, what's your assessment of what you saw this week? Well, there have been the ads are interesting. I mean, you've seen a new one from the cotton campaign where he's basically it's another kind of biographical ad where it's like, here I am. Here's my wife. This mm -hmm. is our family at my family's old home in Dardanelle. And it's just a way of kind of humanizing him while these outside groups are kind of doing this dirty work. Club for Growth, Americans for Prosperity, they're the ones that have been doubling down on hitting Mark Pryor. Outside money for Pryor, too, though, this week. Some new ads, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And um, I don't know the sources of those. I didn't make note of that, but I have seen those ads. Mm -hmm. And I know that some, uh, some of them have been mm -hmm. attacking uh, Congressman Cotton on his votes against the Violence Against Women's Act. So uh, those have been pretty impactful ads, and I would encourage people to see them if they would like to see how such a good ad. Bill, we also yeah. had some uh, what was it, voting against disaster aid. Cory Booker kind of, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know. That, was a, that, that was a wildly nuanced thing there. I think mm -hmm. that was a misstep by the prior folks uh, uh, just because it's, it's so hard to connect the dots unless you can put it in a 30-second ad, which they're not going to do. They brought in New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, who was the mayor of Newark. Who, sure, uh, Sandy. Uh, yes, after the, yep. uh, the the hurricane that tore through New Jersey and New York, uh, attempting to point out that while you know uh, that that Tom Cotton voting against a relief bill for for <clears throat> those folks uh, that were impacted by Hurricane Sandy, his point was that it was full of pork. That it was basically should have cost this much. It was blown up a hundred times because everyone put their own special project on there. Uh, that's why I voted against it. That was a nuanced attempt there. I, mm -hmm. Look, getting back to the real meat and potatoes here, Jessica's right. You got good cop, bad cop. The, the, the campaign is always the good cop and the outside group is the bad cop and they're doing it on both sides. That's where they are. Uh, I do think you see prior, this campaign is attempting to try to drive a wedge with women numbers uh, oh, yeah. and, and cotton. And that's where I think they see uh, a beachhead in terms of trying to establish something. Flip side to that, though, is the president continues uh, to be a tremendous source of material for Republicans as he becomes more and more unpopular. You begin to realize, I mean, well, we're not EPA even into this. Stuff on well, Monday. the EPA stuff. Yeah. I mean, you got your, the electric rates could go through the roof. And, and I mean, that's the old Boris Yeltsin theory. Just keep people warm in the wintertime and you're OK. And now we're going to run up everybody's light bill. Plus, now we've, we've we, it's a five to one trade for someone who may have been a deserter. Uh, and people actually died searching for this guy, and here's the president who uh, uh, creates you don't think a foreign he was policy. An, you don't think process. he was a deserter? I, I have no idea. I just yeah. know what I've read by credible sources well, who say there is, that that's the case. More's coming out in the Senate later on. Absolutely, and, there yeah. is a lot more to that situation than we could ever uh, possibly know. And yeah. even though what we've read has not been flattering to the Obama yeah. administration, I am willing to bet that there is so much more that we need to learn about all this. Right, all right, all right. Well, uh, we'll just rein it in right there because you can only hold the phone for so right. long. Right. Okay, well, you can stay up to date with Arkansas politics. Again, Capital View AR. Uh, that's it for this edition of the Capital View smartphone app. We hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, the rest of your week, and whatever it is you are doing. So have a good one. See you.